Ah, hello and welcome back to another certified OJ Chefing video. We are here in Miami, city of dreams, city of endless party, endless summer, city of rental cars, and the next city of GTA 6. And we are here today because actually I wanted to do a vacation. That's also the reason why I rented this Maybach right here, so that I don't do any silly stuff. But after two days of vacation, I have to say it gets quite boring. So I thought, why not make a video for you guys and see if we can get the GTA 6 spirit in real life for you. So the mission of today is pretty simple. I have this thing about three more hours and then we're gonna trade it in for something way more fun and way better where I can truly live up to my name and do whatever I do best. I think we're gonna hopefully expect some good old-fashioned action. There's supposed to be some street racing going on and a big car meet and I think or at least I hope we can get to experience all of that today here and GTA 6 in real life in Miami. I have by the way Celine with me my trusty little camera girl. Wow! I have to say I rarely come to Miami. I usually stay up further north because Miami is really really crowded normally. Anyway still I want to show you around a little bit, I want to show you the area while we're here and then yeah, like I said, we're gonna move out of Miami and see if we can find some action later on in the video. Also by the way, really quick, this is the car. My Bach is 560, 4Matic, very nice squeaky doors mod. This car is nice and fun and all and I really really enjoyed the last two days with it. But also nice floor mats, definitely OEM plus. But yeah, it's just time. I can't sit still any longer. I have to do something. The reason why I wanted to have a vacation, I guess you guys can tell by the last few videos, it was very busy the last weeks and very stressful for me as well. But honestly, two days of vacation is enough. Let's go and do some shaking stuff. First of all, let's drive around Miami and we're gonna show you the city. We are currently in Miami Beach, which is like the touristic spot of Miami. There's other more beautiful places in my opinion than Miami Beach, where we're gonna go to later when we have the M2, which is Palm. Palm Beach and all the other places. I mean, Miami does have a very cool vibe to it. Mm. Uh, I just can't stand to be more more than like two days here in this area because it is very busy and you have, it's like really crowded and full of people and you can't really go anywhere because there's traffic jams. So yeah. Miami is nice, but only for a few days and then you should move more can't north to like Palm Beach and the other areas, yeah. which is honestly way more relaxing. And in my opinion, Palm Beach is what Miami used to be a few years ago. So Palm Beach is the new Miami. Mm -hmm. I, I honestly don't like, you know, the logo is coming off here and here is missing an H as well, which makes no sense because the H is missing, but there's no space for the H to go. So I'm not quite sure if this is honestly a real Maybach or not. It could also just be a regular S-Class with the Maybach body kit and Maybach interior, which also would make no sense because I guess it's very expensive to do so. In the park here really quick we are in front of famous ocean avenue which is where everybody goes to at night to party and drink and during the day sadly it's closed for cars so we're gonna have to park good old my buck here so let's go inside there and i'm gonna show you what miami is really about <sighs> i'm not a big beach person so i really go to beaches this is a rare instance of sheep men at the beach and i'm not really wearing the best things <laughs> but yeah if you ever wonder what Miami Beach is like, I'm here to show you. But let me tell you, no, no local person goes here. <laughs> here in the beach is mostly. Okay, yeah, Miami Beach, here you see it. Very beautiful. Okay, let's go again. Enough beach for me. Huh? Wow, this was long romantic. He has beach. Yep, and this is the famous Ocean Drive here in Florida. Uh, at night it's pretty cool, sadly, as you can probably guess, it's not night time. Uh, so this road is closed right now. If you would go here in the night, obviously all of the restaurants are open and there would be no construction sites and you would have low riders and everything driving up and down the city and also tourists with like rented tour accounts and stuff. So if you're wondering what the new GTA 6 is like, it's probably gonna be like this. I really hope you don't feel the heat while playing the game. Uh, we just bought some souvenirs to cool down because inside the store it was very cold. Pro tip, don't go to Miami in the summertime. No, it's way no, too hot. It's so we're gonna go back to the car and we're gonna drive off. I'm done with Miami Beach. Yeah, we are back in the comfortable cold car and here is here is uh, the science district, which is actually very interesting because it is in one of the poorest uh, neighborhoods in Miami. You have a small block of houses uh, where you have the most expensive clothing stores and also like many celebrities walking around. Pretty absurd, 
but that's just pretty much how Miami and I think the rest of America is. And if you drive into here, for example, you have very expensive steakhouse, you have Cartier, you have Rent oh, Tourist, <laughs> you have Julie's store, you have Giorgio Armani, you have Dior, Dior, and you have the classical influencers taking pictures and videos of everything. Like, like you? Like me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we made it to downtown Miami, which means there is skyscrapers pretty much everywhere you look. And I'm going to be honest with you, I don't think I've ever been down here except for when we picked Except for we picked up the summer truck, but that was a bit further out. I don't think I've ever been here in my entire life. Yeah, this is peak Miami right here. You have skyscrapers and you have the beach in front of you. It doesn't get more Miami than this, I would say. I think we have seen enough and uh, we've driven the Maybach enough. Time to change up cars. Uh, let's pick up the other beauty. <laughs> I have magically teleported into a new car. What car could it be? It's manual. We have a six cylinder and it's real and drive. I think we're gonna have fun with this one. Yep. Let me just I'm gonna show you guys from the outside really quick. Beautiful M2 competition. Yeah, you know, I've already tested one of those a few months ago, but. I just had to do it again. I had the opportunity to rent one here in Miami and I just wanted to test one one more time because the last time was quite some while ago. Yeah, I want to actually see if I still like the car because I'm thinking about getting one for quite some time now. So yeah, we're going to test it here in Florida. I think we're going to have a good time. I already have spare tires, so that is always perfect sign. Before we do that really quick, I'm gonna drive to RMC Miami. I've already showed you their um, shop or like their place in the last time I was in Miami, but we were there yesterday and they have stocked up immensely on cars. If I tell you last time when we, when we were there, it was already insane. This time it's even more insane. I think I've never seen so many amazing and very rare cars at one time in the same spot. So let's go there really quick gonna show you through all of the stuff that they've acquired since the last time I've been there and then we're gonna test the baby blue M2. RMC Miami, here we are once again. That actually is pretty sick I have to say. Damn, two is already cool. So, how is it? A little deeper camera. So, well the boss himself arrived finally. What's up, what's up? <laughs> what do we have? I was gonna mention, I apologize bro. All good, all good. What's new? Uh, well, pretty much everything I guess. Everything's, I mean almost everything. I think last time I said everything would change and I mean I think it did. It kind of did. Yeah. This one's insane by the way. We saw that one driving yesterday. I kind of fell in love with it. Bro, this is honestly a super lightweight turbo. Like how somebody will build like an RS, but they did it with a turbo and it's just like enough power to make it fun. Mm -hmm. Just a 964 turbo, full fiberglass, everything, except for doors and fenders, quarters. If some very special windows as well. Yeah. $20,000 in RS windows, magenta interior, RS Club Sport cage, uh, pretty stock motor, just a little more boost and uh, really nice quantum suspension, quantum physics. You have even more 964s over here. And these two, just uh, look at that. I, I think 964s are the perfect like mix of air-cooled. Yeah. Because it has the classic 911 body lines. I like 993s, but- The most beautiful portion. It still has it still has like that classic 911 look, but yeah. it has all the modern amenities. And, it, and then when they're tuned in Japan. I mean. And they are Japanese tuned. Yeah, that's yeah. the thing. This is, you never see this stuff in Europe. I promise you guys, you're probably never ever going to see this stuff again, even. He has like a soft spot in his heart for like Japanese built cars. As well as this NSX, Japan's fastest NSX. Probably one of the most expensive cars. We already got over that last time though. So I'm just going to, you know, watch the last video. Two RX-7s over there. They're pretty one's grip, one's one gun. So one's like for twisties and one's for like high speed cruising really it's, it's so different and so in, it's so incredible how they tune cars like for some people they think it's just japanese tune but like that's, that's drag racing this yeah. is highway that's road racing this is road racing and highway there are so many different styles of tuning yeah. you know and it's very nice because you buy them and you leave them the way they were built in like the early 2000s late yeah. 90s most of the cars obviously yeah so you have stuff I, we already went over this last time but you have wait 
yeah, you have all this stuff, which looks like a time capsule of the 90s, and you can buy it. Yeah, you can ba basically buy the whole car as a time capsule and drive it, and it's, it will work. It's it, like it's. I love all the modern technology that they're throwing at cars. But like, if I want a modern car, I'm gonna buy a modern yeah. car. I like feeling analog. I like yeah. hearing analog. I like seeing analog style gauges. You know, I don't want no, race same, packs. Same and, for me. You yeah. know, I kind of think that. I, I want that whole experience, but heighten at least into today's world. You know, yeah. I mean, this will a uh, GTR with bolt-ons won't be able to catch this. You know, like this is 800 horsepower R35 GTR territory, and that's crazy to say in a 1997 yeah. Skyline. You know, yeah. and this one is probably the most insane thing you are gonna see today because it is a Mines R34. Yes, so this is a real N1 V-spec homologation race car from factory. So even lightweight paint, no sound deadening, no radio, no AC, everything from factory meant to go racing. So essentially like a GT3 RS for R34 GTRs. And then it has a full mines drivetrain, 600 wheel horsepower, but mainly set up for road racing. And um, it has a, an insane amount of parts from magnesium, 1070 yeah. BBS is to the These ABC wheels clock. are insanely expensive and so is the steering wheel. Steering wheel, even the seats, these Profi Kevlar's, like you'll never see this shit again. This is, and of course, yes, they make newer shit and they make modern shit, but like the whole point is to enjoy the cars in their height, you know, yeah. in their era. And there's, BBL is making great cars, but like to me, this is peak. This is peak JDM tuning, you know? And I think that's what we kind of try to attack with everything here is that style. So yeah, so if any of you guys has a lot of money laying around, you can buy this and make me genuinely jealous because it is probably the coolest shit I've ever seen. I didn't even know this existed until I came here to Danny. Thanks for showing us around. Absolutely, bro, absolutely. Yeah. This is crazy. This one here? Yeah. I just, I nearly cut off my foot at like this, this, this is a red, this is the Japanese version of a yellow bird, no, Roof builds the best cars, period. But if Japan were to make a similar style, it'd be 87 G50, non-turbo, but with a 480 horsepower turbo motor. So it has big reds, coilover suspension, almost 500 horsepower. It's filled with rock chips. Yeah. Like, and we love, I mean, people will talk shit, but like, that's beautiful. It has been freshly like painted. It's not covered up. It's just like how it's been for 25 years. It goes 299 kilometers because that's where it's limited in fifth. And it'll sit there and I don't know. I just like this. It'll work. This is stupid shit. You can get into it and you feel like you're the fastest man in the 90s. You feel the fastest for sure. Yeah. 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 If any of you guys want to see these cars in person, you can come down to RMC Miami. Honestly, really, really cool guys. We have seen enough so far. Every time I come here, I want to buy some shit. So I think it's best for me to leave and test out the M2 finally, because I've been dying to drive this car. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Yeah, welcome back. We are freshly showered, freshly dressed. We have a few hours of sunlight left. Um, we're gonna use this. We are driving right now to meet up with some people and then we're gonna go to a special place. Currently, this is by the way, Palm Beach. If you're wondering what Palm Beach looks like, this is proper Palm Beach. So we're like on the island in front of Florida. And this right here is where all the crazy rich people of America basically have their summer houses or vacation houses, whatever you want to call it. Donald Trump lives here. Well, some other celebrities, I don't really know. I don't really know who lives here, but like, it's very expensive to live here and very beautiful, I have to say. Look at this here. And so far, I'm actually liking the M2 quite a lot. It feels very nice to drive with the stick, although I'm not quite sure if I would prefer to have it as a manual or as an automatic car. Oh, this looks, this looks very, very nice here. Yeah, this is peak Florida. This is how you imagine Florida to be. Palm trees everywhere. You have beautiful small houses. You have a very, very clean city. No big construction sites. This is just, this is really paradise on earth right here. Also here, obviously, like in Miami um, design district, you have all the very, very expensive shops. It's just a very beautiful area to be in. Look at these houses here. It's truly, 
truly insanely beautiful and as you can imagine insanely expensive the average house price here 10 million us dollars which is and oh, then the obviously here you have beautiful atlantic ocean this is wow this is <laughs> I've never been here to this exact spot, but it is actually beautiful. Look at this. Obviously, I, you can imagine how much these houses probably are. Yeah, I think we have to stop here to take some pictures of the M2. The M2 fits in here perfectly with this color. All right, let's check it out really quick. This is just, look at this here. And the car matches the scenery so perfectly. Bro, well, this M2 is really, I, I really, really love the color of this car. If I would ever get one, it would 100% be in this exact color. Because it kind of reminds me of my of old F80 M3, which I sold a few years ago. I wish I could show you more of this area. It's so beautiful. Uh, I guess if GTA 6 ever comes out, this is probably going to be where all the expensive houses are. I mean, bro, I don't want to imagine how much these houses really really cost because that's going to be probably i would say upwards of 30 million i mean look at the view you're getting here these are all like you know summer residences so they don't live here permanently which means you most likely won't have any annoying neighbors while you're staying here bro <laughs> this car with this scenery but yeah let's go back uh, let's see if we can catch up to the others and it's time for some good old m2 action here in florida i really really love it down here i hope you guys can experience this a bit through your PC or wherever you're watching the video but this truly is heaven on earth also really quick what I really really like about the M2 I think the front end of the car looks amazing this car is completely stock by the way that's also why it is so high in the front I really really like the headlight design I really like the grille although I've seen there are some really really cool options for the grille so the front end to me is a pretty good looking car also obviously the side of the car it looks very massive with these boxy fenders and flares I'm not a big fan of the the side skirts and everything that people put on the car what i don't like about the car although is the rear i really think that the rear needs to be done properly i think the car needs a wing i don't know this is kind of too massive in my opinion it also makes the car look like it has a fat ass which some say is a really cool thing some others don't like it door handles are fantastic as well i'm a big fan of those and obviously the car has the same engine like my g80 so this car has a lot of potential if you ask me i'm a big fan of the m2 the only thing we kind of need to find out today is how it slides on dry asphalt because the only time i ever got to drive on was in winter time where there was like really low temperatures and obviously wet asphalt so back then i really really liked the car interior could be a bit nicer my g80 looks way nice in the interior and this one here obviously it has the same steering wheel and the same center console I'm not a huge fan of those seats, but there are very, very, very few M2s with the bucket seats. I really like this though. But yeah, enough talking, enough admiring these beautiful views. Let's go and catch up to the others and see what will happen today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're driving to the others now. Um, Celine is my personal chauffeur, apparently. She wanted to try the M2. I have to say, this kind of is a girl's car. So not a proper girl's car, but a car that is like very suitable for girls, I would say. Um, and also is, it's kind of hot seeing a girl drive <laughs> M2, to be honest. I don't really know who's coming with us. Um, I just texted some guys local to this area who also have like BMW M3s and stuff. So we're gonna find out in like eight minutes, I would say, who's down to, you know, do some shenanigans with Mr. Sheepman. Es sagst, wie fährt er sich? So geil. Aber wir Unmöglich. Ja. Selina yeah. proved oder nicht Selina proved? Ah, Selina proved. Also. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. I think I just arrived and I see probably the cleanest spec M3 G80 I've ever seen. That is a Laguna Seca Blue G80 M3 and an Adrofront M4. Oh, what the f***? Yo, how many M3s did these guys bring? That's insane. Two M4s, two M3s and one M2. I think we're gonna have a good time. All right. <laughs> what a up, what a way to show up, man. <laughs> Very good. Oh, I love the spec. Thank you, bro. <laughs> I just got it. I had a white one before. Yeah. It wasn't doing it for me. I tried out an RS6. Also, not doing it for me. So I just had to order one. G8 it is, then. Yeah, it's the best nice car you can buy. <laughs> yeah, thank, you. thank you. So yeah, Laguna Seca Blue, white interior, like gray interior, but honestly, uh, and also no half cents represent, man. <laughs> Still pretty stock. Um, I think it just picked it up a few weeks ago, he just said. Also, this very, very interesting G80. <laughs> 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 
and the people here love it as you can see still not quite sure what i think about the adro front color is crazy though it's like some matte gray thing Ich glaube, ich finde halt immer noch, dass er einfach front ist, hat immer noch ein Nasenbär aus. I still got a PPF the front bumper, I just gotta put it on. Yeah, just in case we get a blow, you know, I got a jack in there. Well, why do you have B-Log wheels? How much power are you making? Around 750. 750? Full 85 with port injection. That's insane. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man. It's expensive. I'll do it, hey, man. All right. You guys motivated? Yeah. That thing is amazing, yeah, I have to say. I love it. I'm unlocking it next week. Femto? Um, oh, yeah. yeah. Everything. Perfect. Probably E50 for now, I'll do port injection later. Yeah. I'm not in a rush, because I have a 740 wheel is plenty. You have to paint match the bumper. Yeah, yeah. I have to. Yeah. That would be sick. Would Some silver wheels. Oh my god. All right, let's, let's go perfect. and see where out. we end up, I guess, huh? I guess. <laughs> All right. You like it? Bro, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> We have arrived at testing facility here in America. <laughs> this is the middle of nowhere. <laughs> it literally is the middle of nowhere. There's nothing out here except abandoned streets, which is pretty cool, I would say. <laughs> really cool. I didn't even know this existed. <laughs> yeah. I'm a bit nervous now, but I guess it should be right. Uh, this eats through tires a lot, so it's gonna have to be very efficient with the runs. Yeah, you can see it's like sandpaper, so. Good thing we have some spare tires with us at least. But I'm gonna go first, test the M2 a little bit, and then they're gonna play around, I would say. All right, first time sliding the new M2 on dry surface. Let's see how it goes, I would say. We're gonna do second gear, clutch kick. Yeah, it works good, like yep. expected. I mean, it's being mm, my stuff. <laughs> are done already. Are you serious? Feel so. Oh my god, they are. There's no way. Oh, Jesus. Oh, <gasps> schau mal da. Oh no. Yeah, that's why I brought the bead locks. Okay, I think perfect. they were done from the start <laughs> and I didn't check it properly. There's no way. There's no oh way god. that there's no wood tires. There's a ton of air already. <laughs> oh, oh god. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. You're done. <laughs> All right, who wants to go next? I would say. <laughs> <laughs> I'll send it. That is insane. Well, is there another turn or is it just this one? Well, there's many turns. But this one is the coolest, I think, because you can. Yeah. I did two slides on my. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. Well, sorry. <laughs> we drive like an hour and a half? That was, that was so <laughs> stupid. <laughs> yeah, at least we have some more. Exactly. <laughs> but yeah, the it slides pretty nice, I have to say. Well, yeah, at least, like you said, we have some more cars okay. to play around with. We have spares. We have a jack and we have a torque wrench we could throw on. But I don't think it's going to work with the huge beadlock wheels. That's very true. <laughs> and they're on slicks too. You're too grippy. Those two slides, the car worked. Okay, yeah, I mean, you can see I pretty much just went all the way back there and then over this. But still, I don't, I can't believe that was just from that one slide. But yeah, the time that the car was sliding, it was sliding pretty good. I like it, but I want to test it out some more. I'm a bit sad now. I actually really think it might be the surface here. I think the surface is way too much. Jesus, man. <laughs> I literally rented this car to slide it properly. I even, you know, the owner was fine with me sliding the car. We drove out here, planned everything, drove out here for like one and a half hours, only for the tire to give away. And like, that was not even one minute of sliding. I can't believe it. 
gonna get some new tires tomorrow and to try it again somewhere i guess all right i mean at least we can watch them slide around a little bit i would say can you slide uh, that's a great question all right we'll perfect find out right now. perfect <laughs> So you can slide. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> that was <sick>. <laughs> <laughs> We should probably check his tires now though. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> yeah, check them. Watch him do the same thing. <laughs> Still good? Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, this guy is randomly from Germany. Yeah. <laughs> Size speaking German with me, which was very interesting. <laughs> really? Yeah. You have a little bit left, but you should probably stop. <laughs> that was pretty sick, though. I mean, if you want to. I was hitting the back road. The 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 left turn is pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah. You want to do it again? Then I'm going to walk over there. Alright. Oh, this really feels like we're in a jungle. What a nice spot here. Only could use a different surface to drift on. A bit more slippery. You want to do this one here? Alright. Check out how the tire A little bit. No, that's good. So slippery. Yeah, it's so slippery. Yeah. Well, that was sick. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh. <laughs> good thing. <laughs> There's no way. Yeah, the bumper's still good. We're good. Good. Well, good thing you have your tires with you. Lining. Yeah. Good thing you have the tires with you, man. Oh <laughs> I was already thinking that. I was waiting for it. Like, at least you didn't take out my bumper. You want to swap them here, or? Huh? You want to swap them here? Don't yeah. drive on the roof. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna stop them right here. Well, what a nice place, but the road f sucks. It was bound to happen. Should have probably switched locations. There is another spot that's not so shitty for the tires. Really? Yeah. How far? For literally one minute. <laughs> 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 the other one. You gonna well, send it here? Shit blew or Bro, shit blew up almost Fuck no, I'm just sending this shit here. All your. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna. Joey? I was gonna wait. One? I was gonna wait for you to go Crazy. and see what happens. Crazy. Fuck, I don't want to ride. Yeah, <laughs> At least my bumper didn't come off. I don't know. Oh. It's still smoking. Oh my god. Oh. No, <laughs> it was burning the. It was burning the fucking plastic. It's burning me. That was not very successful, or it kind of was, depending on how you see it. <laughs> Destroying the tires, yes. Doing a lot of drifting. Ah. Jesus. <laughs> Thank God I brought I've this literally here. never seen a tire do this before. Never. Yeah, nope. Right. Normally this is fucking pop, but this one here, I don't know. <laughs> Fully exploded. Yeah. That looks sick with the drag radials in the back. <laughs> That's why I, like, I don't even need them, I just have them for show. <laughs> it looks sick. There's one more spot where we could go to. It's like a skip plate. Uh, that's perfect. Yeah. That's perfect. Yeah. I'll do donuts around you. Yep, yeah, perfect. Brand new tires, huh? Yes, sir. <laughs> I put them on backwards. You put them on backwards? Yeah. This one was supposed to go on the other oh. side. Oh, yeah. yeah. Rotate, but I wasn't trying to take it all the way off. So. I mean, fuck so, it. I'll make it home. I'll change it. You can do a donut. Yeah. 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 That's so beautiful with the sun in the background. Alright, so we all out of tires. At least we had some good 10 minutes I would say. So let's head back to where we came from, change our tires and then see what happens next. I feel like I'm literally driving a train. 
Uh, we have to drive around two hours to get back to the place. I just really hope the tire is not gonna pop because we're driving pretty much on wires now. And I initially thought I could use the spare tires that one guy had with him. As you can see, he needed them himself though, so that kind of sucks. Yeah, we made it back to Palm Beach with no further issues, as you can probably guess. I drove here pretty slow though, I have to say because I was scared the tires gonna pop. But no tires popped, the others went uh, back home. We are going to go shower really quick now and then we're gonna go head out to RMC Miami once again because they're hosting a car meet today, tonight, which is gonna be, I hope, for, I hope it's gonna be pretty cool. It's gonna be pretty much in Miami, they told me. So I guess I'll see you guys at RMC Miami in a bit. All right, so we just arrived at the car meet that Danny told us about and so far it's not that spectacular I would say but also Danny and the others didn't show up yet so might get better. I mean in the end this has just started about 10 minutes ago. We're pretty early. I mean there's some nice cars here already but let's see what will happen. Gonna wait for Danny and the others to show up and then we're gonna walk around with you. Yeah so at least I get to see what a single turbo G80 looks like now. I initially wanted to do one with my G80, but so far we haven't found the time to do so, so yeah. Also, R32, pretty stock, and two very nice Evos. Very nice setup here. Just get a lot of meaty tires. So we've just contemplated about the Supra. I kind of like the body kit. Celine loves it. I love it. Car looks very happy with it. I feel like it's screaming, drive me fast. <laughs> I have these fenders for my Supra, the side skirts. I just don't have the carbon parts and also not the carbon lip in the front and not these over fenders in the rear. Also, I'm missing the wing. So my question is, should I do it? Or should I leave my Supra like it is? I mean, it does look very, very cool from the back. So I'm not quite sure. Maybe it looks a bit goofy. Ah, I don't know. Also, I have no idea what the f this is. Yeah. We're still waiting for the others. Um, there's supposed to be street racing going on later tonight, so that could be interesting. And I think they want to cruise through Miami as well, which we'll see if that happens or not. Okay, this is good. Okay, this is probably the sickest car here right now. I love Corvettes. And this one sounds amazing. Nothing better in the world than a chopped LS. I love it, that's so sick. Hello, Mr. Hello, Mr. Autos, how are you? I drive my fucking car. <laughs> Why she's so nervous? I turned the boost controller off just in case you might die. Well, that R34 is nice. Thank you, bro. Well, top secret action. It's top secret. Top secret fusion R. Oh, bro. Why not? Why it just goes well with every car? I swear to God. All right, we're going to RMC really quick. We're finally doing something. We're gonna go for a little cruise, midnight style. Just gonna park the rental at RMC and then gonna hop in with Danny in the R34, which is gonna be sick, I guess. <laughs> All right, we made it to RMC, which means... All right, that thing actually sounds really good. Yeah, we have all the cars lined up. It's unfortunately a bit wet outside, but that's not stopping them from having a good time i guess yeah the crazy thing is danny is taking an r34 you saw it it's actually a top secret r34 gtr which is mind-blowing yeah you have to do donuts now as well yes i love motivating people to do some <laughs> stuff <laughs> ah, open differential. Now, these cars they don't like locking the differentials on like tight turns so one bad part about the new m2s and m3s i would say Try doing it from not, don't do a burner, just. It's not like, just only. I know, I know, I know. With, it's like with the G80 and everything, just turn in and hit the gas pedal. That's what, how I do with the G80. More. More.
then he just told me that I can drive the R34, which is crazy. Really quick, I gotta show you guys the car because it's actually insane. I hate to say it, but probably the nicest R34 I've ever seen in my entire life. So this right here, you saw it really quick at the car meet. It's a top secret R34 GTR. Complete top secret spec. Like every RMC car, it is still in the original shape that is built in like the 2000s. So it is twin turbo, 400, uh, 500 wheel horsepower. It's built to go like on one gun cruises, which is like the highway runs in Japan. So it's perfect for today. I don't really know if these tires are good though. Should be fine though. Let's drive an R34 then. I love hey, you. Moto. I love you. I love you. <laughs> be careful with my, my little baby. I'm not gonna drift or anything, I'm just gonna drive chill. No, motherfucker. <laughs> it's speed that kills it. Oh my god. Ah, speed! Oh, love of god. Don't go fucking crazy. <laughs> no! You scared? Yes. I honestly think it's not gonna be as bad. Oh my god. I mean, it feels like a normal R34, honestly. A bit more stiff. Oh, the brakes feel very nice. Okay, I have to get used to the clutch, but apart from that... It feels like my R34 felt before it blew up in Sweden. But so far it feels amazing. The suspension is very, very good. I don't think I've ever driven a better R34. <laughs> it feels fast with 500 horsepower. It does. Bro, I love you guys for this. So yeah, there I was driving this very special R34 GTR in the middle of Miami. It was raining a little bit, but it was pretty nice because it meant that it finally cooled down. It honestly felt like nothing I've ever experienced before, seeing the Miami skyscrapers in the background and surrounded by all of these other very cool cars and unique people. I'm very grateful that Danny let me drive this car and experience this, and I hope you guys enjoy it too. But if it's crazy for you, then it's good. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> this car drives amazing. The suspension, everything is perfect. It's full balance, right? I hate to say it. I already said it in the car because I own an R34 myself. Yeah. But this is the best R34 I've ever driven in Damn, my entire bro. life. That's wild. That's a wild yeah. statement. But yeah. yeah, bro. It's just the balance, dude. And, no, it's perfect. And Twin Japanese Durable. tuners, unfortunately, they know better than everybody, everybody else. else. Yeah. It is what it that's is. crazy. You know? When did they build this car? 2003. 2003. 20 years later. That's crazy. Oil changes thing. and love. That's it. Oh, I love it. Thank you very much, course, honestly. Bro. What suspension is in it? Hypermax by Top Secret. Bro, that... <laughs> got, uh, I need to send you guys my fucking R34. <laughs> That's so good. It's got Fer Top Secret Ferrari F50 big brakes in the front, uh, Ferrari 360 in the back, and then it's just got cams and uh, modified N1 turbos and bro, a fuel system and a clutch. It drives amazing. Yeah. I fucking love this shit. Nice and it well. looks so good. I'm so fucking jealous. Well, this shit is... Insane. I love R34s and I love white cars. I love white wheels. So you can imagine how much I love this R34. Bro, this is honestly a wet dream for me. And on, look on the hood. Turbo timer. Ah, turbo timer, yeah. yeah. Keep it OG. <laughs> ARC, titanium. So stupid Damn expensive. Bucks. I know. It's like fucking. Yeah. I think they started remaking them, so it might not be that much. Yeah, I think it's like they, 350 they, bucks. They were very they were expensive. They like $3,000 yeah, like a year ago. Yeah, and here you can see 
Top Top secret. Top secret. Top secret. No horse. Very, very nice car, man. Very appreciate it. But yeah, um, the weather is supposed to get better and the night is still young. So we're going to drive back to RMC now and supposedly there's some street racing happening, which we're going to look at. So I guess I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm going to hop in the M2 again and then we'll see what the matter is. All right, we are back again in the M2. And we're going to be street racing. Uh, Danny and the boys, they said they know some spots where hopefully tonight we'll see some action. So we're driving there right now and we're going to see what happens see if it really is like all the shows you see on tv and youtube and whatever and honestly i'm very excited you know two years ago when i came here to florida for the first time with youtube stuff we tried to get some serious street racing action and we honestly failed miserably so maybe today it will finally be the day that i get to see a proper american street race on these highways here in uh, miami for once it will honestly be a lifelong dream all right this seems to be the meeting spot where they all meet up and discuss. I feel like a loser for pulling up in the original M2. But yeah, we got Danny and the boys with us. They are locals. There's some insane cars. Let me just one second. You love this shit. You love this shit. <laughs> I kind of like it already. I just feel a bit awkward filming. Why? Right. Should we be fine? Yeah, we're gonna be fine. All we're right. Good. Yo, the Camaro. Oh, that truck is. That's a NA. 416 cubic inch nitrous car now. It used to be on motor, now they made a nitrous. Supposed to be it's the white Camaro? Yeah, it's a uh, one of the fastest NA Camaros. That, that GTR makes like uh, 12,000 horsepower. And, uh, <laughs> like 12,000 horsepower. <laughs> and the RA makes 2200 horsepower. The RA like, makes 22. The red one? Uh, the truck's twin turbo, F 150. How much? The fastest, the fastest car here. The, probably the second fastest car here, except for the Audi, is probably that, that truck. truck. That's what they trucks, trucks are the fastest, the fastest things on the street right now are F-150s. Not even playing. You can't touch them. Those, those trucks are They're all wheel the drive, 9,000 RPM, 1,200 to the f tire, and it doesn't spin at all. And they just shift like those, like a, uh, what is it? Fast and Furious Fast and Furious turns with 80 speed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've got some drag radials on the Supra. Single turbo. What are you saying? It's dope. It's dope. Single turbo. I hope you guys can see this. I'm trying to film with no flash, but naturally aspirated or what? It was naturally aspirated. It was. Now it's got a lot of nitrous. Yeah, it's got a lot of nitrous. Got two brand new bottles sitting right next to it on the side. Oh. <laughs> that that should explain. Oh, the tires in the front. Yeah, this is, that is yeah, this is not Nurburgring Sprite. Yeah, that's not meant for going around the corners. <laughs> yeah, How much power does it make? It's hardcore. Probably on motor. Probably makes like 650 all motor, and there's probably like another three to four hundred on nitrous. So like a thousand. What do you think they spray this with? Like two two fifty three hundred? Let me see. All right, now I can probably see the engine. This car probably hit like a three vision, like a two hundred shot. I mean, look at the bottles right there. Three hundred blow. Well, it's a four bottom men. This this car's a built motor car, four hundred sixteen cubic inch pissing round. Auto, your favorite. Bro, that's Ross's car. Do you know the guy? The guy with the track on? I drove him with him two years ago. Ross? Yes. At the pit? Yep. At, at, in the pit? Yeah. You were with him? Yeah. No way. We have videos and we were just talking about him. Like, <laughs> you want to race me on foot? I'm fast. You want to race me on foot? Yeah. But you barefoot. What the fuck? Yeah, it has to be. I, handicap. There, I weigh 300 pounds. I'll let you fucking get the jump. No, I, that, that, that's not how it works. I'll let I you get you the barefoot. jump. No, bro. All right, so then, you can no. make fun of me because yeah, I'm running around here. Exactly. Right back. exactly. <laughs> So that's supposedly a 2,000 horsepower R8, and obviously, got to have a parachute to break the car. I guess that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's insane. You would go literally to prison for having this in Europe. There's two of them next to each other. Oh, the other one has a two too? Yeah. Oh my god, that one looks insane. Highly legal. <laughs> Florida with baby. You can, you can Florida man. You tossing the laundry out here. Yeah. You toss the laundry out and you go to jail. Really? Yeah. 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 That's jail time. Not really. Yeah. I mean, it depends on the cop that pulls you over. Yeah, they're not. They'll be like, "Fuck yeah!" Super cool, cops bro. love that shit, bro. Cops in Miami. All the cops in Miami like cars. Like every single one. They will let you make a hit, like in front of them. Like, is that shit fast? <laughs> That's insane. Which one's faster, GTR or right? Probably already. Really? No. I mean, I don't know that. I don't know that GTR, but that shit looks fast. It's got a. It looks insane though. No rear bumper. How big the rear tires? That looks insane. No gas cap. No rear bumper, carbon seats. That is insane. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Mad Max Civic. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what the f I'm looking at because I'm not good with Civics, but that looks. Right. It's okay. Oh, you're, you're Mr. Okay. Civic. I mean, man. no, I'm not Mr. Civic, but it's got a quite sequential. It's got K20, so more RPM, less torque, brakes less. 
He probably sprays it to come out of the hole, but I mean, other than that, I mean, look at the size of the radiator. Like, that's all you need. Literally. Four cylinder? Yeah. No, because you're only stepping on it for. Oh, yeah, 10 seconds. Eight seconds. <laughs> yeah, not even. Yeah. <laughs> the car costs about $500. The motor costs about $30. <laughs> yeah. 1000 The uh, trans is 18000 The seats cost 10 bucks. <laughs> yeah, not even. Not even. <laughs> How much power is it making? I would say this car probably makes close to a thousand. Henry, is this a thousand, thousand plus, thousand less? I would say a thousand. Thousand? That 40, Forty-five pounds of boost. On, <laughs> what? Forty-five pounds of boost and nitrous <laughs> and all-wheel drive and sequential. All right, so the first race is about to start, which is going to be very interesting, I guess. It's a bit awkward to film everything because the people don't want stuff to be filmed around here, so I have to be a bit careful. So right now, Wait, I can try to show you. This truck is gonna race. I don't know what it's racing, but they just filled it up full of racing fuel. And it's supposedly the second fastest car here. Only car faster is apparently the R8, which is gonna be very interesting. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just drive onto the street where they're gonna fly past us. And then we're gonna hopefully see the cars fully in action. <laughs> yeah, so we have the truck right here racing against the R8 with the parachute in the back, which still is insane to me. That's gonna be quite an interesting race, apparently. They bet some money onto it, I don't know how much. <laughs> oh, they're closing off the highway now. Um, they're doing not dig racing, so they're not stand starting from a standstill. They're actually doing um, roll racing, so they're starting by rolling, which is... Oh. Okay, maybe not. Maybe they're starting from a standing. <laughs> I honestly have to say though, um, it is a very, very weird situation right now. It kind of feels very tense in the atmosphere, I don't know. Everybody there had guns with them. I think you saw it in their pants and everything. They were racing for money, so things can get very heated. Um, Danny and the others told me there has been some huge fights and also shootouts. So, <laughs> yeah, but uh, today it seems pretty chill, I hope at least. himself or why? <laughs> He beat him so bad that he lifted early. <laughs> if I'm being honest, this whole street racing experience was a bit eerie and at the same time tense. Everybody just had their guns in their front pockets and you know, people were just standing around, not really talking to each other. Danny and the others told me that fights break out pretty often in these events because people race for lots of money, you know, like 10, 20K. So for me as a foreigner who never experienced something like this, it was just something completely different. And I didn't feel 100% safe, but being with Danny and his friends made the situation way better. So I'm very grateful that they went with me. We didn't really get to experience any proper street racing that night, but seeing those cars drive on the street alone was something very cool for me. And knowing that these people go out and street race like two or three times in the week, all year round, is just something very, very cool for me. So yeah, maybe in the future we can try to check it out one more time, but for now, I think this should be good. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys again in Europe. We are finishing the workshop right now, so next video will probably be our new workshop. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys again. Peace.